Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you guys know, I do try to go over a different mnemonic or acronym that is used in EMS every single week. And this week we're gonna be going over the acronym SOAP. If you aren't already subscribed to my channel and this is the first video you've seen of mine, I definitely encourage you to hit that subscribe button, especially if EMS content is something you're looking for. If you're already an EMS, chances are you have heard of SOAP in reference to your documentation for patients. SOAP is a mnemonic that is intended to serve as a guide while completing patient care documentation. So let's go over individually what the letters stand for. The S stands for subjective. This is where we ask our patients questions and take into account what their responses are. So basically, what's the patient's chief complaint? Have they had this complaint for a while? Is it acute? Is it chronic? You go over their history, their current medication, their allergies, the events leading up to. This is basically summing up everything that the patient is reporting to you. And if the patient is not available to give it to you, you can talk to a family member or somebody who's on scene that can give you the appropriate information. And the O is for objective. And this is really going to cover what you find during your assessment. So this may be checking vital signs, listening to lung sounds, checking pupils, just reporting any kind of physical exam findings. If it's a trauma, it may be you recording the results of your physical assessment, searching for injuries, that sort of thing. If you're actually in the hospital or you're taking a long distance transport, it could be reviewing the patient's laboratory data or looking at other documentations that doctors have done for this patient. And the A stands for assessment. So this is where we go into what we think could be wrong with the patient. Now this isn't diagnosing the patient because as we know out in the 911 EMS setting, you're not to diagnose your patient. It's based basically gathering a conclusion or possible conclusions of what could be going on with this patient. And P is for plan. So this can include all the treatments that you've rendered, all that you have done for the patient. It could be everything from you started an IV, to you perform CPR, all of that would be included in your plan. All right, guys, that's about all I have for you for SOAP. If you have any questions or comments, make sure to leave them down in the comment section below. And maybe in the future, we can do an example of SOAP documentation in a video. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next week. Bye.